Good morning, good afternoon. I'm Colonel Matt Cantori. I'm the commander of Space Delta II in the United States Space Force. And it is an honor to be with you virtually here at the Small Sat Forum hosted by Cal, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Thank you, Cal Poly, and thank you members of this community for giving us this invite so we could come join you. We've had a cooperative research and development partnership with uh, Cal Poly and the Small Sat community for a couple years now. And we look forward to continuing to partner in the future as we, as we continue to embark on an ever-growing and ever-changing, very dynamic space environment, one that we are all part of as we operate together. I also want to pass on a regards from Lieutenant General Stephen Whiting and Major General Deanna Burt, the commander of the Space Operations Command and the Combined Force Space Component Command, respectively. They wish they could be here today, but again, they, uh, they thank you for this partnership and this opportunity to collaborate. So you may have noticed that you have a Space Force officer standing before you. Maybe you've never seen one of those, and I know it looks an awful lot like the Air Force, and we're all getting used to uh, the changes. But I tell you, the Space Force is new, it is real, and it is here. Born on the 20th of December, 2019, the Space Force came into existence. And in that time, uh, we have been moving very rapidly to get after the mission sets given to the Space Force going forward. Before that, the Department of Defense of the United States had space in a variety of manners. The Air Force had a large portion, but there was also space components within the Army and the Navy. As we move forward, we're looking to move and bring all that together. But even more so, we are looking to be bold and be innovative. In fact, I like to think of us as the startup uh, of the military here in the United States. We certainly are looking at how we can push the envelope of how we can push technology and execute missions in the space domain to be able to benefit not just the U.S. Department of Defense, but humanity as a whole. Our organization is really taking shape. Just like all the other service headquarters, we have ours based out of the Pentagon there in Washington, D.C. Our three field commands are also up and running and getting established. The first one is the Space Systems Command out of Los Angeles, which is focused on acquiring all the technology needed to be able to execute those mission sets. The second one is the Space Operations Command based out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, SPOC as we call it, which is where all of our space deltas sit to execute a variety of missions. I have the benefit of leading an organization under one of those known as Space Delta II, where we focus on space domain awareness. More on that here in a minute. And then finally, we have our last field command, Space Training and Readiness Command, which is just about to stand up sometime in late 2021. STARCOM is where we're going to be able to do our talent management for all of our space personnel. We're also going to be able to do test, training, education, and doctrine development under STARCOM. So as those three field commands really take shape and take off, we then are moving forward. So if you think of Space Force as a new startup, we certainly are really moving forward. And not only are we taking those traditional organizational elements and those missions that we've pulled together, we have a bold, innovative new outlook that we are looking to enact. Everything was clean sheet. And so as we go forward, we're trying to find the best ways of organizing this 21st century military organization going forward. I tell you, it has been an exciting year and a half, and we have a lot more in store as we move forward. Now, you may have noticed that the Space Force and Space Delta II uh, has, uh, does not operate small sats. And so we're at a small sat form, and that's, that's okay. Although we do operate uh, the Department of Defense's space-based environmental monitoring satellites, we have the task to keep track of all the objects on orbit all the time. Space domain awareness, as we call it. And that's where our interests collide, pun intended. Not only do we do the tracking of all the objects on orbit, we also uh, need to make sure that we uh, share that information so that we avoid collisions. And if two objects are going to collide, that we get the word out so that we can potentially maneuver one of them and be able to keep the domain free of debris. It is an exciting and a powerful role that we have, but one that we look forward and we look forward to doing it together with you, with this small SAC community. 2020 may be the year of COVID, but in my mind, that's not what I think of. 2020 was the dawn of the age of mega constellations, and we have increased the number of objects on orbit in a tremendous way. If you think back just a few years ago, we came to this forum and said there were about 18,000 objects on orbit that we tracked. Today, just three years later, 26,000 plus objects on orbit. And even more so than that is the number of objects per launch. A couple years ago, we were seeing less than four objects per launch. At 
2021 through a few months, we're seeing over 20 payloads per launch. That is just an ast astronomical increase in the number of objects going into to the domain. And our job, again, gets harder and harder as we are trying to keep track of all those objects on orbit. We want to partner with you. We are excited about pushing technology to the edge, using innovative ways for us to be able to execute the small sat missions and all the other uh, missions that uh, are done in, in the space domain. But we need to be able to work together, we think, uh, to be able to protect this commons. And certainly, as more and more congestion increases in uh, certain altitude orbits, uh, we need to be even closer and closer uh, in our alignment and our sharing of information. In this forum, uh, the 18th Space Control Squadron, one of the units under Space Delta II, is going to give a presentation. And I'd ask that if you have time, please listen to Ms. Miles' presentation. She will give you insights of exactly how the 18th functions, as well as how we can collaborate, what information they need, and what services they can use to provide you. I think it'll be a very beneficial use of your time as you as we work together going forward. The future is certainly bright for mega constellations. It is bright for all of us as small sat owner operators and for the space domain awareness. Uh, we look forward to continuing to partner with you all and with other elements of the commercial sector, with academia uh, and other elements of the US government and our allies to be able to share information of what's going on in the domain. It has been a exciting couple of years and it is only gonna increase. So again, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come speak with this forum today. Again, I realize that we are not assembled in one spot like we have in past years. Uh, but still, it's very important that the small sat community comes together and talks. We in the Space Force embrace the technology that you are pushing forward. We certainly want to be with you as we push the bounds of what is capable going forward. And we know we need to partner with you so that we can operate safely in this ever congested space domain. In Space Force, we say our motto is Semper Supra, which means always above. For this audience, that doesn't seem quite right, however. So how about we'll see you in the neighborhood. Thanks for having us. We'll see you in the future.